Hey, welcome to week four. We're going to be looking at the amplitude and compression category this week. So if I go to my effects here, you'll see amplitude and compression. And you'll see we have de dynamics processing, a limiter, a compressor. So what are these things? So I've gone ahead. This is some audio from a short film, and I'll put the link up. You can uh, purchase this footage from the uh, webinars, Moviella webinars, and it gives you footage to edit with. So I'm using an excerpt from that. So I've gone ahead and cleaned up uh, my hum and um, removed noise and done EQ. Hi, are you going to be? One minute. Dennis, the new operations manager is holding a meeting in five minutes. How can you not know that? Okay, so we've got this uh, basically part of the script where there's guys and girls talking. People are, you know, varying in volume. Some people are louder, some people are quieter. When you go to amplitude and compression, if you want to change the dynamic range, then you're going to be dealing with compression. So dynamic range is what's soft and what's loud. So when you watch TV and a commercial comes on and all of a sudden it sounds really loud, it's because it's compressed. So the things that are soft are similar in volume to the things that are loud. Okay. If you just normalize something, normalization, uh, video people may be more familiar with this because you've been able to do this for a long time in Final Cut and Premiere, if you normalize, you're saying put the peak of this audio at this level. So if I say minus three or minus six, it's saying uh, the loudest sound should be at around minus six. But that's not really doing anything with dynamic range. So normalization is helpful if somebody's consistently quiet. Like if you have a voiceover that's quiet and you just want to make it louder, normalization can help that. If you have somebody that's quiet and loud and you want them to be closer in volume, you want to do compression. So if we go under here and we can look at dynamics processing, there's a lot of different ways to do it here in Audition. Uh, let's look at the voiceover one. So I'm going to do this and it's setting a level of compression. You can see here that it's uh, basically saying this two compression here, level of two. You'll see as I drag this around, it's changing it. So let's just play it and uh, we'll play around with it a little bit. I have a light buzz. Are you going to meet? One minute. Janice, the new operations manager, is holding a meeting in five. Okay, so you can see that it is making it louder, but unfortunately, what it's also doing is making the noise louder. So what we can do is go to settings. And what we probably want to do here is a noise gate. And what the noise gate will do is it'll cut the volume when it's quiet. So let's turn this on. Actually, let's play it and then turn it on. All right, you should be able to hear a big difference with that. Let's just do it one more time. One minute. One minute. One minute. Okay, so we can use that to kind of clean this up to make this much more useful. Okay, so we could use a dynamics processor, and again, we turn on the noise gating to affect this. Uh, let's just go and pick another one. There's also a de -esser, and that's just the sibilance, the S's. You could start with like a male voiceover, and then you'll see the frequency show up here, and we can switch to output output sibilance only just like you would noise just so we can see and hear where it is. And as you take the threshold, you remove more, but it's the same kind of thing as reducing noise. If you go too far, it'll, it'll sound a different kind of bad. And let's just hear it. Are you going to be? You can see over here we're reducing a lot more when we're doing that. So let's just drag it slightly. Dennis, the new operations manager is holding a meeting in five. Okay. So you could do that. Also, there's more. Um, there's also single band compressor. You can do speech leveler. 
And if it's more said, again, dialogue or voiceover, you could do this. We could try soft. Okay, so the speech leveler, I'm going to pick soft. Yes. Are you going to meet? What meeting? Janice, the new operations manager, is holding a meeting in five minutes. How can you not know about this? I have a light buzz. Are you going to meet? What meeting? Janice, the new operations. It's the same thing with the speech volume leveler that you need to adjust the uh, threshold of the compressor and the noise offset of the noise gate. Um, okay. There's also two model compressor. And you could do, there's voiceover and voice thickener. Manager is holding a meeting in five minutes. How can you not know about this? I have a light buzz. Are you going to meet? What okay. meeting? Janice, the new operations manager is holding a meeting in five minutes. How can you? Okay. So you can see there's various ways to do this. So, you know, play around with them, see what you like. The other thing to look at doing is buying a plug-in suite. Uh, I recently did that, and you can tell a big difference in the quality. There's uh, Ozone 5, which is mastering, and then they've got a part that becomes before it for basically uh, mixing, which is Alloy 2. Uh, they're both on sale right now. I'll put on the link if people want to look at it. But this is something I've come to realize getting an audio more the last year, it's just like video, you know, where most of us have plugins for video, uh, for color correction or for titles. There's a lot of Red Giants plugins that are popular. Boris is popular. Um, you know, but I honestly never thought about plugins that much before as a video guy. And these things tend to just, they either sound better or they work quicker. The same thing as in, you know, Final Cut or After Effects is generally what I tell people if they're like, should I buy a plugin? I'm like, well, if you do it every day and there's a plugin that's going to help you work faster and better, then yeah, definitely. If you do it once a month or every couple months, then, you know, maybe it's not, it's not worth it money wise. But I've started doing more podcasts and things like that. And you can see here, there's actually a lot more presets in here that are designed for voice. So there's a whole section for podcast and broadcast. There's a de -esser. There's a podcaster one. Uh, there's other stuff here you can see for post-production, for sound effects, different presets. And it's a whole suite. So it actually does equalization and dynamics and a de -esser and a limiter. And again, the hard limiters on the end is just defining a level. It's just saying don't go out past this level. So hope this was helpful. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care.